What's up everybody? Welcome back to The Unemployed Cyclist. Uh, we are in February of 2022 now. Um, and I wanted to chat real quick today about cassettes. Um, as the title says, I did not know up until I started mountain biking that you could wear out a cassette. Uh, I could never stomach the cost of a uh, Dura-Ace cassette when I was road biking. I still do road bike and I still run 105 or I'll take her cassettes on my road bike. Um, when I had my mountain bike, it had full 2x11 XT on it. And in if you're not familiar with that, uh, the most of the gears, you know, all, the first 10, those are all steel. This back gear is aluminum. And uh, I'm due for a new cassette, so I figured I'd walk you guys through uh, what it looks like when you have a worn out cassette because like I said up until I started mountain biking I didn't even know you could wear out cassettes I knew theoretically you could like in but in practice um, I didn't think that that was a thing unless you were spending buku bucks on a Dura Ace cassette so um, I have a 2x11 uh, or an 11 speed 11 to 42 uh, uh, SLX cassette. That's what this is right here. Uh, and then over here, I have a SLX cassette that I've been riding for about six months on my mountain bike. Uh, I've traced out the gears, uh, the, the aluminum gear on a piece of paper, and I'm going to move my camera over here and we're going to take a quick look at what the differences are between a brand new cassette and a worn out cassette. Because if you didn't know like I didn't, that is definitely something that you can wear out. All right, first we're going to do a quick visual difference between a brand new cassette and a completely worn out cassette. So see how the gears on my left are pretty squared off and the gears on my right are a bit shark toothed. Um, and honestly, some teeth are missing. Like this one right here has completely broken off. Um, that is a subtle way to see that your teeth have worn out on your cassette. But as you know, as anybody knows, um, as something wears slowly over time, you can't quite tell that it's actually getting worn. So, um, and that was my problem. I was like, the teeth look fine. They look brand new there. And the local bike shop's like, no dude, these are completely done. So what I've done to demonstrate this, let me actually change my light settings on this because I'm getting some funky lines. There we go. Um, I use an LED light and sometimes I pick up the refresh rate of that light. So what I've done is I've traced a brand new cassette, this cassette that I'm going to be putting on my mountain bike, onto an 85 by 11 sheet of paper. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to line up the teeth on these cassettes so you can kind of visualize what a worn out cassette looks like. So. There we go. And let me show what this looks like. Uh, for that awful, awful line. Uh, we'll pull it over just like so. I didn't actually test this out before we're doing this. But you can kind of see, grab my pen, but see how the brand new cassette is nice and square at the top of all of these. Uh, teeth and how this new cassette is really shark toothed off. Um, that apparently is how you tell that you have a worn out cassette. So yeah, that's how you tell if you have a worn out cassette. I didn't know that until I started mountain biking. Hopefully it helps you out on the trail and with your bike maintenance. Have fun, be safe, and get out there and ride.